How's it going everyone? Bruno Sam here. So uh, developer Macaulay has released uh, part 3 of his own implementation of the Masticore exploit, the exploit that was disclosed publicly by developer Ctert and now developer Macaulay has fully implemented it and shared in detail how he uh, achieved that and now the final part which is escaping the emulator has been shared by uh, developer Macaulay. So uh, developer Macaulay has said that he's uh, planning on releasing the Masti core code shortly which will obviously lead to the actual exploitable save file being made and uh, released publicly. Uh, I'm not sure what he means by this tweet maybe he's gonna be releasing the uh, save files too or just the code uh, either way this is gonna lead to the uh, actual save file being shared uh, publicly because now all of the info is public and uh, developers can just take it and make the uh, save file he also mentions that this release is not going to be uh, user friendly and uh, is targeted for developers more than end users because uh, the uh, number of PS2 games that you're going to be able to run with this uh, save file are uh, minimal. Uh, not all PS2 games will work, so uh, only few PS2 games will work with uh, this release. And also, the games has have to be sent uh, through the network and are not persistent on console storage, which means you cannot load games from the uh, internal storage. But he says that it is possible to load them through a USB drive. Now for people who have a 9.03 and a higher firmware like 10.01 this is not a full jailbreak uh, this is just a user land exploit which means it still needs a kernel exploit. The best thing that you can do with this uh, exploit on a, a higher firmware is uh, running PS2 games even on the latest PS5 uh, firmware without a hypervisor exploit you're going to be able to run some PS2 games some PS2 games because obviously they're going to be running inside the uh, emulator so that's the best thing that can be done uh, with it for homebrew apps PS4 homebrew apps and PS4 games a kernel exploit is unfortunately still needed for a uh, higher firmware than 9.00. Uh, so uh, for people who have a 9.03 PS4 and higher firmware and uh, you want to test this uh, you have three options. Uh, the first one is uh, you need to have a, a jailbroken PS4 so you can resign to save by yourself. Uh, the second option is that you need to use save wizard on PC to resign the save and make it by yourself and the final option which is sending the save file to someone who has a jailbroken ps4 so they can resign it and then send it back to you encrypted and all you got to do is just put it uh, on a usb drive and then go to the uh, manage save data on the ps4 and copy it from the uh, usb to the internal storage of the ps4 load it and you'll be able to test some ps2 games even on the uh, latest ps4 firmware 10.01 so yeah i think that concludes it kind of still waiting for the files to be uh, shared so i can test this on uh, 9.00 firmware so i think yep that's it i will uh, let you know if anything else comes up take care see you soon